Welcome to the Jibos Garage channel. Here, you'll see videos about our aquarium hobby, and lots of other fun things we do. Like, our weekend road trips. Enjoying time on the water. And outdoor cooking, just to name a few. Hit the subscribe button, and come along, as we create more fun videos. This is my 2012 Dodge Ram. We've got a headlight out, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that, see if we can't get it changed up. And I just want to show you how, uh, you know, the process that you have to go through to change a simple light bulb in this uh, this this truck. So uh, the dealerships wants $330 to change a light bulb. Let's see if we can do it. So to change a light bulb on this 2012 Dodge Ram, you have to take off this protective cover here. You have to take off this plastic grill. You have to pop out the headlight assembly, and then you have access to it from that point. So it's a little bit of a process, but let's see if we can't save ourselves $330 here, okay? So we gotta come in here and pop these little rivets off. We've got a tool that we use for that. It slides in, pops it off. So that's one, we don't wanna lose it, we'll set it there. Sorry if it's too bright because of the sun. Pop that one out. It's not that beautiful of a day, but it's a pretty good day. I can tell you this is a handy little tool to have right here. As my dad is talking, um, so, how was your day? <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Halloween is in one week, so happy Halloween. I got the tool and everything. And you have access to whatever that is. So we'll just put this up here for now. We have to get this plastic grill off here. So in order to do that, we've got to just follow where these uh, are, are. And we'll just get those out of there. So there's one, two, three, four that I can see. And then I know it clips in here. So let's, uh, let's get those out. screws the one two three four once you take out the four screws you come in here and you pull straight out you pull straight out and then you take the whole front off all this to get to the headlight assembly wow you put this somewhere safe Now that we're in here, now we come down here and we unscrew this bolt and we unscrew this bolt right here. Can you see it, Carson? Yep. You unscrew this bolt and you unscrew this bolt and that'll open up this headlight assembly and then you can pop this headlight assembly out. It's really important. We're going to turn this wheel all the way over so we can get access to this panel that's behind the wheel well. Right here behind the wheel well is this panel. It's got one of these Deweys in it here, so you got to pop this out. I don't know if it'll pop out with my fingers. Like that. Oh, there goes the screw. You reach your hand into here, and then you should be able to feel a little sliding mechanism that goes up and down, and then you pop that off and it'll release the light. A pry bar? Do I go up or do I go down with that thing? I went down. Did that unlock it? Or does that lock it? Because it really feels like it's in there. I think you have to use a pry bar. Yeah, I think it goes the other way. I think it was already unlocked. Well, you don't want to scratch the car. You don't want to break the headlight assembly. Oh, you broke it. Oh, and the screw fell out. Oh, no. That's just... So you can see on the back of the headlight assembly, you see this little this little dewey right here? Enough, yeah. That slides in through this hole. And this mechanism slides up and down. So up, oh boy. You broke it. Up would be, up would be to unlock it. Down would be to lock it. So I did just pull it out of there. So up would be so open. It. Down would be locked. And I, you can see where I cracked it right here. Oh. It's cracked, but that's not a big deal because that's back there. 
right, so we want to replace the headlight so we can take these assemblies off. Actually, let's check something real quick. Turn the alarm on. So I turned the headlights on. I just want to see if this is a loose wire or anything like that. So let's check here. Yeah, so here's what happened. Did you guys see that? So the light was off. I shook this wire right here, this harness, this wiring harness, and the headlight came back on. You see how it's going off and on? No. Oh, I see it on, but I don't see it off. It's not turning on and off. Look at this here. So when I wiggle this wiring harness, I wiggle oh. that. Is it wiggling it? It? It, was, it goes off and on. See that? It's not going off and on. No, it's blinking a little bit. But it did, it did go off and now it came back on. So there's a problem here. Wow. Headlights. You see that? See how it's going off and on? Yeah. Oh, I see it. It's like a blinker. See that? So it's this, it's this connector right here. Yep. So let's just... You gotta break that. No, I'd like to pull it off, but... Oh! It's going on and off. <sighs> So, I probably should replace this. I'll have to order it. Hmm. All right, let's uh, put it back together. So, I pulled the headlight assembly out. I looked at the wiring harness. I, I put it back together. It's working now. So, I'm going to put this, uh, this whole headlight assembly back in. So, that goes there. That goes in there. Come back behind here and you pull that lever down to lock it. Yeah, the lever that I broke. And then you find your bolts. Just like that. Just like that. Now you got to put your grill back on, and is that it to uh, finish gotta, your back up? I got to put the grill on. Then I oh, this, that that uh, yeah. cover. Mm -hmm. Might be a good time to clean this thing up while I had it taken off, but who's got time for that? It goes in here. It does it go in there? We got our little supervisor helping. Eddie, say hi. Well, I'm missing some of these. All right, we got the grill back on. Again, one, two, three, four. And then, I don't know if you can see down in there, but it just, uh, the bottom slides into that little groove there. And then there's couple little hooks in the very bottom here so be very careful when you're pulling this out and just kind of make sure that I pull it kind of straight uh, a little bit upward and outward in one motion all right let's get this uh, cover back on here don't forget to close this flat behind the wheel and make sure you put your pin in there back in there. Now let's see if, uh, if they both come on. So they're both on. All right, success. We got it all back together. It appears to be working fine now. I am going to go in and I'm going to replace that little plastic harness piece. I got to order it. Uh, I'll do that. 
Uh, I think the wires were, were bad inside a little plastic piece. I think that's where it's at. When I wiggled them or when I pushed them back in, the light came on. So I think that's the culprit. And it, uh, even though the lights are working now, they might work for a day. They might work for the rest of the truck's life. I don't know. Um, but for me, I'm going to get it changed anyway. I'm not going to do it in this video, but just trust me when I tell you I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it out. They want $330 at the Dodge dealership to change a light bulb. Not the whole assembly, just the light bulb. Crazy, huh? Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, uh, thanks for watching our video. Um, thanks for watching us repair the car. And uh, I was the cameraman. Dad was the repair person. Uh, Jack's not in this video. Mom's at work. So, yeah. Happy Halloween, everybody. And stay tuned for more.